Google's Notebook LM is getting incredibly powerful these days. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can create stunning infographics just like this about any topic you like in seconds and for free. The applications of this are massive. It makes things easier to learn. You can use these graphics in presentations and slide decks. You can use them within your marketing or as part of an educational product. Honestly, the possibilities are endless. So first of all, we are gonna to want to come to notebooklm.google and you're gonna to want to try Notebook LM. It's absolutely free. However, you do have to have a Google account. Once you sign in, you'll see something that looks like this. And we are going to create a new notebook. Now we need to tell it what information we want to pull into this notebook and then we're gonna create an infographic from this information later on. So the information that I'm gonna use is this uh, video here where Elon Musk is talking about his five steps of improving and automating a process. So I'm simply gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna come back over to Notebook LM and I'm gonna to go to websites, paste in the link of YouTube and click insert. I'm then gonna give it a couple of seconds uh, there we go, it's already done it. I could ask it any questions that I wanted to about this video. Um, I can create audio overview, video overview, reports, mind maps, flashcards, quizzes, but I am going to click on the infographic button here. If I click on the pencil button, I can edit some of the details before creating this infographic. So what we can do here is change the language. I'm gonna keep it in English. You can change the orientation for it to be landscape, portrait, or square. So depending on how you're using this, if you're gonna use it for like an Instagram post, for example, maybe you want it square. Then we can choose the level of detail. I'm gonna click on detailed, which is in beta, but um, hopefully it will do. So I'm gonna say an infographic that breaks down the five different steps mentioned and makes it very visually appealing. I'm just using whisper flow to capture my voice there. And then all we have to do is click on generate. Now this is using uh, Google's Nano Banana Pro to create this infographic, meaning that the infographic is gonna not just look great, but it's gonna be smart and actually uh, use all the information from the notebook and from the video in this case, rather than just make it up, which is what other um, image models used to do. So you can see over here, it is currently generating. Let's come back to it when it has generated. Okay, so here we go, we've got our infographic. Let's have a little look at it. And here you can see it, the five step process for radical improvement. We've got all the steps here broken down and you can see we've got beautiful infographics for each step. And you can see the text, although it's a little bit hard to read here, the actual text itself is perfect, right? There's no letters melting into each other. There's no like blurriness. It's all quite readable. Uh, and you can even see we've got like critical warning down here and some extra notes. This is like very impressive and especially being free. This is fantastic. I wish I had this when I was in school. Let's have a look at some other ways to use it. So we just used it from one YouTube video, but another way to use it is um, by collecting an entire YouTuber's channels, uh, videos and putting them into one notebook and then creating an infographic from them. So in a previous video, which I'll link in the description, I showed you how you could essentially copy an entire YouTuber and all of their videos and put it into a notebook. And I did this with Hormozy. Again, you can view that in the link below. I'm simply gonna click on infographic. And there you can see it's creating me an infographic based upon all of his videos that I've got in this notebook. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look at that infographic. Okay, so here we go is pick this topic here. I didn't really give this any prompting at all. And it's broken down some of uh, his teachings such as making sure you're making enough money up front so you can fuel uh, ad costs if you're acquiring customers through ads. And therefore your marketing budget becomes unlimited and it's got a breakdown of all of those numbers. And again, everything makes complete logical sense. Everything is correct from the sources. All of the text is uh, correct. And it just makes it a lot easier to take this information in. Now, in this example, I didn't click on the, uh, the pencil here. So I didn't get to say what I wanted in the infographic, which is very useful. So I'd highly recommend doing this step. Now, Notebook LM is just one of so many great AI tools out there at the moment. Staying up with all the best AI tools is a really hard job. But don't worry, I do it for you. I have a complete list of all of the best AI tools at the moment, and I update this constantly. So if you're following this list, then you will always know what the best AI tools are. To get access to it for free, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Anyway, back to it. Okay, so let's move on to another one. Those last two ones were both from YouTube content, but what happens if you don't want to take YouTube content? What happens if you just wanna research a topic? Well, what you can do is use the deep research section over here within Notebook LM. And I'm gonna say, research blast furnaces and fractional distillation and I'm gonna send that off and it's gonna do some deep research all about blast furnaces and fractional distillation. I'm not sure why, but I've got that stuck in my mind from like from a chemistry class when I was like 15 years old. 
and uh, let's create an infographic of that thing. So what's going to happen here is the notebook LM is going to go away. It's going to do all the research that it needs to understand about this topic. We're not giving it the sources. We're saying, find your own sources. And then once it's got all that information, we're then going to request an infographic showing how the fractional distillation process works. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and it's finished its deep research. I'm gonna import those sources here. And now they are all imported and I'm gonna go on infographic and I'm gonna go detailed. I'm gonna go landscape, that's fine. And I'm gonna say, give me an infographic of the fractional distillation process in a blast furnace broken down and made very easy. And then we're gonna go generate. And again, we're gonna give this a minute or so and it's gonna give us our infographic. Okay, so here's our infographic. Let's have a little look. And here you can see this is the uh, blast furnace process it looks like. And then this is the fractional distillation. And it shows how it works with the crude oil going in. And then all those different bits coming out at different stages. I can't remember much about the uh, fractional distillation process, but there we go. Okay, here is another example. This time we are taking a book, which was on Kindle, which I then copied and pasted and put within this notebook. And we're going to create an infographic based upon this book. So let's go on infographic. And we are going to go on detailed and I'm going to say, create an infographic, breaking down the author's approach to goal setting and goal achievement. And we are going to click on generate. Okay, so that's generated. Let's have a little look. So here you can see some of the core principles that uh, this book talks about. So the peak performance zone, talks about the success killers and performance trap and the five step process for the elite performance. So there you go, really great way to break down an entire book into one simple infographic, which has all the information that you need about this book. And look at it, it just looks great, right? If you were to get this created, it would probably cost you hundreds of dollars by a graphic designer, now absolutely free. Let's have a look at one more use case, and that is taking a website and using all the information on the website, all the information about that business, and then creating an infographic about that. So I'm gonna go on website, and I'm going to type in www.okara.ai. This is an AI tool at the moment, which I am quite interested in. It looks like we have to have HTTPS before it. Uh, there we go, insert. And it's going to go away and it's going to uh, upload that as a source. And you can see here that it's uh, found all of the information. And I'm going to go on infographic and I'm going to go detailed and I'm going to say, Tell me about the premise of this business and what the advantage is that it offers to its customers and how it technically works. Okay, and we're gonna click on generate. This could be great if you're comparing different bits of software that you might use in the future, or if you're uh, perhaps looking at competitors and you're seeing what they will focus upon and what you might focus on as like an, as a competitive advantage. There's just a million ways that you could use this. Okay, and let's have a look at that latest infographic. And here you go, this breaks down this entire business, what it is, uh, the advantage, what makes it different. You can see here that it's essentially an AI chatbot where your data is uh, completely safe. You can see how it actually works um, and all the advantages. Very, very cool. So there you go. Go ahead and use this new feature within Notebook LM. It's incredibly useful and uh, there are just a million different use cases for it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.